This is the class example from chapter 18. Um, and we're told, actually, uh, the population proportion. So of all cars on the interstate, 80% exceed the speed limit. What proportion of speeders might we see among the next 50 cars? Okay, so um, if we just take a few notes, let's just uh, acknowledge that the sample size is 50, and we're actually told uh, the true population proportion. Okay, this is generally something we're going to try to estimate in the future, but right now we're being told this is it. Okay, and so what we want to do is in order to answer this question, what might we um, see among, among the next 50 cars? Well, what we'd like to do is use the normal model. What, what I'd like to do is um, sort of draw a picture like this. And let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to draw it a little bit big so I can label it. So um, it always takes a little skill to do this. So here's the center. And that's one standard deviation in both directions. Two and three. Two and three. So what I'd like to do is label this. Um, and then and then say okay so 68 um, percent this is this is what we would expect from here to here 68 percent of the time and so on 95 percent of the time okay so to do that to be able to build this model and and answer the question, we need to check some conditions. So here, they're, they're not all that difficult. The first two are the um, independent assumption, the conditions to assume that, to show that the, they're independents. So the speed of each car is independent. So the random sample, so what we're going to do is, we're, we're just going to say that um, 50 cars can be considered cars can be considered representative of all cars on the interstate. Okay, at least that's what that's what we're going to claim. We haven't been told that they were randomly selected, but we're just going to assume that 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 they're going to be that the sample is going to be representative of all cars. Now, you could argue maybe if it's late at night, it's not, but we're not going to go there for right now. Okay, now the 10% condition well, that's pretty easy. 50 cars um, is less than 10% uh, of all cars on the interstate. Okay, so the success failure condition, what we want to do is show that NP is greater than or equal to 10 and NQ is greater than or equal to 10. So it was 80%. So the sample size is 50 and P was 80%. So 0 0.80. So I think that's going to work. Right, because 80% of 50 is going to be 40. And then um, twenty percent 
is exactly 10. So we just barely make it, okay? So um, the sample is large enough. Okay, so um, the conditions are satisfied. Okay, so now we can use the models. We can say something like the conditions are met. So we can use a normal model. Okay, so the mean of the model, mu, is just going to be p, the center. So we're saying 80% exceed the speed limit. Okay, so 80% is going to be right here, 0.8. Now the question is, what's the standard deviation? So what you have to understand is, we can't use the population standard deviation. We actually have to use um, this, the standard deviation of p hat. So p hat would be a sample. So if we took a sample, a random sample from this population, it would have this standard deviation. So that's going to be um, 0.8 times 0.2 divided by 50. Okay, and that's going to be 0 0.057. Okay, so that's the trick. This is a sampling distribution. This is a distribution of a... sample proportion. In other words, um, this model explains what we would expect if we took 50 samples and looked at the proportion of drivers that were um, speeding. So now all we do is apply this um, uh, standard deviation. So we get point one four and um, oh my bad that's point nine four no one four this is point eight five seven obviously and then this is point nine seven one so that's a 1 right there. And then this would be 0 0.743 and 0 0.686 and 0.629. Okay, and then what we would, we would write something like, um, according to the model, the model, Uh, we expect 68% uh, of the samples of 50 cars to have proportions of speeders between and it would be 74.3 percent and 85.7 percent Okay, and uh, let's see, 
95%. Um, between sixty-eight point six percent and ninety-one point four percent and ninety-nine percent between uh, let's see sixty-two point nine percent and 97.1%. So it's kind of confusing because we have two percents in this case. Um, so anyway, the, the real issue here is that we're being told what the true population proportion is. So we can create a model because we know what its center is. We have to check the conditions, draw the model, and then make sure that the standard deviation is calculated um, this way, using this formula, and then and then explain what the model is telling us, what we expect. All right, I hope that helps. Good luck.